I'm Sylvan. Today we're back with the Witcher. If you remember from last time, we fought Savola, our friend Leo got killed, and uh, Triss, I couldn't remember her name for a second, Triss is in a coma. We've been given the task of getting her a potion. Uh, what do you see? I forget. Oh well, we'll figure it out. I assume this is where we're supposed to go. What is this? Circle of elements? Maybe not. Maybe we're supposed to go upstairs. I don't remember. Definitely not what I was supposed to do, but that's okay. I guess we're supposed to go upstairs. <gasps> oh, wait, no. Uh, eh, what am I stuck on? Eh. Nope, and I pass it again. My goodness. My sister's direction sucks. Care more in interior. Okay, now... Oh, is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh no, that's me. <laughs> what is this? Lambert. Your tail is too long, and so is your wool. There isn't enough for one bag full. Hey, hey, I thought I saw the name Triss over here. Lambert. Geralt, is something wrong? No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The stairs are through that door. I'd go, but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire. What is this? Lambert, I have to tell you something. What is it? Leo. The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. Uh, we'll I'll find see you later. If we can find it without listening to explanations. Prepare potions in meditation mode. Gather the required ingredients first. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Now I know where that is. Uh, I need to go up. How do we go up? This over here. It's over here. Oh, exit. We go. Kitchen. Oh, I need to go through the kitchen. Can I get into the kitchen now? I don't think it let me into the kitchen before. Really? I just have her, like, laying here in the open with no guards. Seems legit. Can I get in there? Oh, oh, I can do something with this? Ooh. Left click on a lit campfire to enter meditation. Ooh. 
Very nice. I knew there had to be a way to do it without going through a whole big piece of story. I don't think I have the Igby sign yet. How do I get in there? I don't need to do that. Oh, shoot. How do I get out? No, cancel. No, no. Can I just get out of it? Say no. I guess I can't. Can I just leave now? Oh good. I was afraid it was gonna like skip time or something. Please, can I go in the kitchen now? I need to get in there. Oh, good! Door's open! I can check out all this stuff. Ooh, I got a lamb chop. Mutton leg, sorta. Really? Light our own fires. See, I always want to hit escape, and when you hit escape on the main screen, you get the menu. But if you're in one of these item screens, you have to hit escape to get out, so I I get so confused. Chicken. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, I'm not a big fan of fish, sorry. Okay, cool. Almost looks like ye oldy toilet. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, I'm weird. Ooh, chicken. Oh, it's like an uncooked chicken. <laughs> okay. Gimme. Oh wait, uh, there's another door over here. Derp. Uh, stairs. What? Oh boy. You dare challenge the salamandra! You'll regret the day you were born. Oh, oh, can I check his body? Ooh, I can check the bodies. <gasps> Money. More flint. Good. Why am I like first person all of a sudden? Stupid stairs. Can we go that way? Uh, that would be a no. I'll make you squeal. Determined to get better at fighting. Die, you. bastard! Yeah, I see you. Come here, you ass. I'll make you squeal.
<laughs> I like them. You got something for me? Money. Give me the money. I have 16 money. Ooh, saltpeter. I'll need that later. More mutton. Invisible remains. Um, why is it when invisible? That kind of creeps me out a little. Ooh, can I get the creep? Evening hall. Oh, cool, he's got pathfinding. That's not a crate. That's a treasure box. That's a treasure chest. Oh, that's the, oh, okay. That's what I was looking for. <gasps> Ooh, what do you know? Okay, that's a base. So the white gull is a base for potions. Double click to drag or hmm. unknown? That does not sound good. Oh, it's a book. An anti-witcher pamphlet. It's the Monstrum, or a portrayal of witchers. Describes how ordinary people perceive witchers and recounts the story of Kaer Morin's destruction. Can I look at it? Oh, I can. Sh shoot. The Monstrum, or a portrayal of witchers anonymous. Indeed, there is nothing more repulsive than these monsters that defy nature and are known by the name of Witcher, as they are the offspring of foul sorcery and witchcraft. They are unscrupulous scoundrels without conscience and virtue, veritable creatures from hell, capable oh, excuse me, only of taking lives. They have no place amongst de decent folk. No. They have no place amongst decent and honest folk. And this Kaer Morin, where these villains nest and practice foul rituals, must be wiped off the face of the earth, and all evil traces of it be tr need be treated with salt and saltpeter to complete the deed. This book adds a glossary entry. Cool. Okay. Well, that's cool. So there's lure. I like lure. Lure is fun. Weapon cannot be used in combination with Witcher style combat styles. Why? Can I equip that? I can't. And I can keep that one to sell? Where'd it go? Uh where'd it go? Anybody else see where it went? Oh, sort and stack. <laughs> Where'd it go? Well, that's weird. Oh, I just like dropped it on the floor. Oh. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Axe? So if I use these weapons, I won't be able to use, like, switch between heavy and light and stuff. I think that's what that means. Hmm. My inventory doesn't look full. Oh, that creeped me out for a second. I was like, oh my god, that's a bad guy. Nope, that's just a training dummy. Oh, look, I'm wearing it now! <gasps> cool! Does that mean when I get more gear, I'll change outfits? That'll be so cool. I love those kinds of details. Yeah, I don't need that. It's the second one. What's in here? Go! Oh, it was just 
invisible for a second. <laughs> I was like, wow, what a witcher. He uh, completely disappeared the door. Okay, he did that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Need more of that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, 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 yes. More unknown potions. Oh, another book. Let's read the book. Read your book. Ooh, a collection of information on an unusually rare monster known as the Frightener. Ah, uh, there's a bestiary! Where's the bestiary? I want to see it. Frightener. Occurrence. Frighteners are very rare. They come into being as a result of magical experiments. To create a Frightener, a mage has to possess great power and a basic knowledge of mutation. Immunity. Frighteners are immune to almost all effects. Susceptibility. Sensitive to steel and silver. Very sensitive to loud sounds at high frequencies. Tactics. In combat, Frighteners rely on their size and strength. They try to knock their opponents down and then deal a lethal blow. Alchemy, Frighteners, Eye, and Claw. I take it those are droppable items. The first mage to create a Frightener was the infamous renegade Dagobert Sula. A diligent student of the Zerikanian Zeric Masters of Alchemy, Alchemy and the Supino Supervi- Why can't I read today? and the supervisor of the Trial of the Grasses carried out at Kaer Morin. Upon beholding the abomination he had created, Sula and is said to have cried, What have I done? No, wait, let me try that again. What have I done? He destroyed the monster, his notes, however, survived. Wait, is there something else in here? Nope. Why is it still giving me a prompt? That's weird. Stuff! I want more stuff! Give me stuff! <gasps> is there noses in here? No. Water! How come I couldn't pick- I could pick that up, but I couldn't- Whatever. Whatever, game. You're so weird. I can't carry around extra weapons to- Let's pick on the floor. Uh, I can't- carry extra weapons to sell. I can carry as many silly potions as I want. What gives? Glitchy game. Did I go in here? I don't think I did. Nope, I did not. I got all the stuff, but I want more stuff. More stuff. Give me more stuff. I'm sure I will appreciate it later. Plus, I like to see all these places. It's so pretty. I mean, all this detail went in. Might as well show it off, right? I mean, even for as old as this game is, it's really detailed. I love old games. Then again, I am 30 years old, so when I was a kid, Final Fantasy 2 slash 4 was the norm. And why is this green over here? That's so weird. Ah, anyway. Visual glitch. Be my friends. Oh. I guess I should go back down to... Oh! Oh! I missed remains! <gasps> More stuff! Money! Give me your money! Birdies! Ah, uh, birdies! Oh, come back, birdies! Aww. You don't want to be my friends either.
three mutton, two chicken, two fish, a gutted fish, a sandwich? I have a chicken sandwich! Where did I get that? I don't remember. Chicken. Speaking of pets, I've been looking at robotic pets online. And I found out that there's a dragon, it's like 500, uh, not a dragon, a dinosaur, Pleo. It's almost $500, which so it's way out of my price range, because I am poor. I'm a poor artist and gamer. But it's really cool. It actually grows and evolves. I just noticed there's more icons. Is there a way to like change them on the fly? There must be. Ah, shoot. Library. Squeak. I wish the door would squeak. That would be fun. There's absolutely oh 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 a dresser in there. Well, excuse me, I have to go the long way. More water? How much water do I have? Two? Really? I only have two. I'm not dropping them somewhere, am I? I don't really need to use items right now. Wait a minute, uh, where did I come from? I came from over there. Wait, where did I come from? <gasps> I don't remember! Oh, that's where I came from, okay. because sometimes it's weird. Maybe it's just because I'm on a Macintosh and it's just like a weird quirky thing, but... Anyway, I think I was telling you about Pleo. And Pleo... like grows and learns so you have to own it for a while before it shows personality so that's why it's five hundred dollars because not only does it have personality you can also hack into it and program it and it's designed to do that I mean that's on purpose so you it's actually a can be a learning tool as well to salt red medium strength alcohol. okay why do I feel like I'll be drinking a lot in this game? Bread. Look at that! It's all reflected. That's really cool. That's a really nice touch. You don't see things like that very often. Normally it's just, you know, it's reflective, but it's only reflecting you, whereas this is going this is reflecting the whole room. that that's so cool fire I can't meditate by this fire oh I can I probably have to stand no no huh 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 nope okay I guess I have to go and go back to the guy 
right now. Uh, how do I get out? Where do I come in? <gasps> Where do I head out there? What? <laughs> what the hell? How did I get in? <laughs> Am I being a- oh, here we go. <laughs> derp a derp. <clears throat> Oh. You have to go around because the stairs are out. Duh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. What do you need? I'll find you later. Oops. Erk. Erp a derp. Okay, let's talk to these other guys first anyway. Oh, that was a tough fight. I found a few intruders upstairs, but I understand they won't be a problem. Lambert, however, let the frightener get to him. Nothing serious. Good you went after Triss and handled that mage. She was able to salvage some equipment. But it looks like the main device has vanished. Our beautiful sorceress was right, I know. You did well, Wolf. Take this armor and sword. I've been keeping them for you. Ooh. Are there other witchers? There were three witcher schools in all. But it's been long since I've heard word of the other two. You've met all the witchers I know of, except for Berengar. Did I know him? I don't believe so. An introvert, he chose his own path. Actually, That's none here right. can say they know Berengar. He often ran away from Kaer Morhen, though he would always return in the end. After the trial of the grasses, he finally accepted his destiny and started training for real. Why isn't he here? I don't know. We lost touch with him a while back. Can I ask you something? Of course. Who was Leo? One of hundreds of orphans of the war with Nilfgaard. I apprenticed him six years ago. I'm sorry. We'll recover our secrets and find Leo's murderers, even if they fled to the end of the world. Can I ask you something? Of course. No, you can't. You mentioned defending Kaer Morhen before. Yes. Fifteen witchers once lived here, training boys for their trials. Only they knew the secrets of mutation. Witchers who set out on the path and failed to assimilate among humans wintered here. Before the battle, twenty-three witchers and forty students called Kaer Morhen home. Not bad. Too damn few for the mob that attacked. I never knew why they came. Some say a sudden explosion of anger, born of disdain for witches. But no. Someone provoked the mob with flyers filled with lies. Special agents read them to the peasants. Truer still, the fanatics could never have taken the fort without the aid of sorcerers, though they outnumbered us by far. They didn't even spare the youngest. I alone survived, concealed among the corpses. Walk yeah, around, Wolf. The skeletons remain. You may find a flyer. There used to be hundreds. Memorize it as a warning of the evil humans can perpetrate. Um, can I ask you something? I of course. Any idea who attacked? No, but the mage suggests no ordinary bandits. We found pins adorned with salamanders on the dead. The symbol of their organization, perhaps? I sense hard times ahead. No. Because we're not in a... We'll speak later. Hard times now or anything. Uh... 
Um, I was gonna say, didn't I just, you know, completely, totally, uh, get new gear? Let's see what I got. Armor? Yay, minus 5%. That's right, he did say that, here, have, have this armor and sword. Yeah, I were... derp a derp Bleeding plus 40%. 5 to 15. 2, oh. One to six. Okay. Okay, interesting. I wonder what I use these other things for. Alchemy or something? I love how uh, when you equip stuff, it just, like, drops on the floor. Need anything, Wolf? I have some questions. What is it? Did you always look like that? What do I use as the base for my potion? Alcohol. The better it is, the purer and more powerful your potion. You seem to feel at home here. Well, I've always preferred an armory to a lab. Though Vesemir plays up the importance of potions, he's hardly an expert. After all, he's always taught swordplay. Still, he tries to teach us everything he learned when he was young, and that was a while back. But to be honest, I don't care for all these powders, mushrooms, and other trash. Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Maybe. It's a little more complicated than that. See, we've never shown her the lab, and the last mutation was completed years ago, before the battle. Vesemir can tell you more. You really think Triss never used magic to peek inside? She respects our secrets, and she's done a lot for us. For you. I trust her. So why haven't you shown her the lab? Triss would like to use our secrets to heal people and such. I've no doubt she'd try, but it's never that simple. Ever heard of the gnome Alfred Nabel? Eskel, I have amnesia. An incomparable inventor, <laughs> like most of his race. Through years of research, he discovered an amazing substance. He intended it for use in mines and quarries. Though a genius, Alfred failed to foresee his invention's possible applications. Others quickly realized oh, that a substance designed to rip granite from the ground could destroy castle walls. Oh. Some even considered using it in open battle. I get it. So what happened to Alfred's discovery? Mages stopped it from spreading. Alfred committed suicide, and his lab burned down. Hmm. Tell me about the trial of the grasses. It's a three-stage process. The first is the choice. Leo completed it, enduring the hard training and diet. I presume it's more than your basic lettuce and carrots. Special mushrooms, mosses, and herbs are grown in the lab. Combined with training, they accelerate muscle growth and digestion, improving the body's general condition. Does everyone pass the first stage? Unfortunately not. The liver and heart often fail, the mind sometimes too, resulting in excessive aggression. Mm. That What's the second good. stage? The trial of the grasses. More idiotic tales have been conjured up about that than about princesses and dwarves. Before the raid, the lab contained vials, hearths, formulae, herbs, and the grasses. A mage and his magic were all that was lacking. Did you ever witness a trial? Just one. Our own. I thought I was going to lose it when your hair turned white. The grasses affect the nervous system, so magic must control the process. The trial results in lightning-fast reflexes, reaction times normal people will never attain. Only four out of ten survive. Quite a cut. And the last stage? I don't know the specifics. It involves changes like the mutation of the eyes, the bone marrow, hormones. In exchange, we see in the dark, heal much faster than ordinary folk, and gain increased resistance to poison. Interesting. What's the cost? We're infertile. 
The changes oh. are irreversible. Entirely. <laughs> I would think so. You infuse your body with something like that. Did you see the magic storm? Yes, I was out hunting. Just before the storm came, a swarm of night jars took flight. Hundreds of them. Gray streaks across the sky, trilling wildly. Usually less of them gather, and their cries rarely sound so desperate. When the storm came, I gave up the hunt and headed toward Kaer Morin. Met the others on the way. Okay, so there must be more to these. Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's out. mutation? Maybe. It's a little more oh, complicated than that. See, we've never shown okay. her the last. Sh -sh -sh shit. I'll talk to Vesemir. Okay, so I have to go back. Oh, uh, uh, um, oh I see him. What do you need? Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll find you later. First. Sorry. Come here, you. Yes. Can I ask you something? Oh, so I can meditate of if I talk to him too. Okay, so that guy tells me to talk to Vesemir, but can I not get out of this without asking him a question? Who was Leo? One of hundred. I'm so we'll rec yeah. We'll speak later. Push this dangerous. Oh, you know what else? When I was editing the last episode and I, I looked at this part and I realized that whatever I picked I could have undone because it specifically says you could but in the moment I wasn't clear about how to do that so I could have undone it any time up to clicking the little hourglass that appears over here so I'll have to be more careful next time now that I know that like all of these things have different I mean this is really complicated I mean holy crap let's see 4 9 12 15 there's 15 things and they all each have Oh my goodness, excuse me, I just came from a company party. I'm all hiccupy. Yeah. Okay. Ah, blah, 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 this one. Okay, now we'll talk to this guy. What do you need? What do you need? Done. I have the ingredients, and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion. What? The claw of a mighty Focus. beast, and some celandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. Oh, okay. Original. Oh, <laughs> it's intended for Tristan, no other uses. Well, fine then. The potion is made by mixing a frightener's claw with ingredients provided, providing a total of one measure each of rebus and vitriol. Immediate toxicity none. According to Lambert's instructions, the potion for the unconscious sorcerer's tryst can be made of celandine, a frightener's claw, and a suent mushroom, though calcium equum can replace the latter ingredient. Once gathered, these components should be mixed with white gull. Okay, I had those, so I just need the, the celestine and the claw. Hmm. Oh, I must have picked those up somewhere, I assume. Special substance. Okay, clicking on these does nothing at the moment. Oh. This potion is made from ingredients providing one measure each of vitriol and aether. In two measures of rebus, a strong, high-quality alcohol must be used as a base. Hmm. 
There is no bird more beautiful than the swallow, the harbinger of spring. Even the dark mages who developed the formula for witcher's potions appreciated the charm of this bird, lending its name to the potion that accelerates regeneration of a mutated organism. Mm. Gotcha. Tawny Owl. Increases endurance. Regeneration. Potion is made from ingredients providing one measure of vitriol and two measures of aether. Strong alcohol must be used as a base. Medium toxicity. In preparation for an all-night vigil at the side of a cursed man or before a battle which is certain to be prolonged, a witcher mixes a dose of tawny owl potion. So that must be what he took in the intro video. And then we drink one of these. Okay. What is this? Show all formula. Oil and bomb? I can make bombs? Ooh. Oh good! It shows me what they look like! Ooh. It is found in many ingredients including herbs, minerals, and monster parts. Mm. A plant? Right, there's carcass. Duh. Quibberth. Indicated in yellow, it's basic of chemical process. It is present in many ingredients, including herbs, minerals, and monster parts. Mutagenic witcher's potions require special ingredients obtained from rare monsters. These ingredients contain unique combinations of substances and thus cannot be replaced by any others. Okay. Vitriol indicated in blue is a basic alchemical substance that is found in many ingredients, including yours, blah 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 blah. Okay, that's all I got for now. Stop it. Um what's this? Didn't I pick up like a saf yeah, a sapphire. Flint. Sure I'll need those later. What else do I have? What's this? Blueberries. Notes containing the formula. The potion grants one bronze talent when consumed. Uh-huh. So that's how you get... That's how you're going to accelerate getting more talents as you level so it's not just limited to cool. um where am I going now I'm so confused. Such a doof. I can't remember. Where am I going? Quests. The formula? Oh, speak to Bessemir. Gotcha. We will perish at the hands of the professor. Bandit's leader. I need to rest. And then explore the fortress. I should make sure Triss and the other witchers are alright. Any surviving intruders? Well. Oh! So I have. So I'm on this one right now. Right. Come here. Come here, you old Todd. Yes? 
Lambert gave me the formula. I take it you already have white gall and calcium equum. I do. What next? You'll need Celandine. Take what I have. Plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To skin a creature, take a sharp knife and cut along the torso. You'll find the Frightener's carcass in the upper courtyard. Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion. I think we will end this episode before we make the potion and we'll save that for later because this this was a pretty lore heavy episode but I think this game is like that because it's got such a complicated world and all that I'll come back to certain things. They're like, oh, you need a monster eye. So let's take this one. You know. Uh, cool. this fire and we will end the episode hey where'd she go like seriously where did she go oh where'd everybody go I wonder if they took her like upstairs or something hmm okay well take it easy and remember to smile 